morning guys it's saturday I figure i'd take hold for a walk early it's about i don't know about 8 30. we're at the park cole's over there we go to this park a lot so he knows his way around and uh let's start off walk over here and give you guys a view of this stream as it comes around here there's a canadian geese sitting right there there's a duck over there oh there's one right here look at that guys right there but anyway we came to this park yesterday yesterday we went that way on the trail and today i guess cole has decided he wants to check out this way so we're going this way today <laughs> I usually let him choose, usually, unless I just get bored with going the same way every time and then I say, okay, you know, we're going to go this way for a change. But uh, we got three different ways we can go at this park here. We can go that way, we can go across the bridge that way, or we can go back there through the woods, through those trails back through there. But uh, Cole has pretty much uh, made his choice. I guess he wants to go back in there and check that out. So I guess we'll go back in there. But anyway, like I said, I got out here early because I wanted to get out here before it got cold. I mean, before it got hot. It was hot yesterday. It was really hot yesterday. I didn't get a chance to use my air conditioner, but uh, it was hot enough to use it. Now, where did he disappear to? I know he came this way. There he is. <laughs> hey, little buddy. This is a spot where uh, homeless people hang out at sometime. Underneath this bridge here. It's got good shelter and it's, you know, pretty secluded. And nobody will bother you. There's a trailer there. We gotta walk across the bridge. That trailer there is probably the guys that uh, do the uh, kayaking. They bring the kayaks down and let people take them downstream. And they pick them up at the other end, bring them back to their cars. Where you going? Is that him going across the bridge? Yes, that is. He done took his guy across the bridge. <sighs> I mean, he knows his way around. He getting comfortable with taking off without me. He like, we went across the bridge today. But uh, anyway, yeah, he comes back again. Okay, we're going to go across the bridge. <laughs> come on. Come on, Cole. Come on. <laughs> I heard his little feet trotting across the bridge. I'm like, he done went around the bridge? Yeah, he knows his way around. He likes this way here. I let him choose. But, uh, oh, that fake shade feels good. It's, it's a little warm already out here, guys. Already. There's a view of the... There's a little river there. Goes down there. <sighs> yes. Feels good out here. Sky is pretty clear. It looks nice out here. A little bit of a breeze, not much, just a little bit. And it's uh, nice and uh, warm. Sun is up. Not too bright, but it's, it's getting there. But, uh, it's the holiday weekend. I'm uh, supposed to go back to work. Uh, when? Uh, wait a minute. Monday. I'm supposed to go back Monday. I looked at my paperwork and it said I'm supposed to go back Monday. But uh, I don't want to go back Monday. 
I want to go back Wednesday. I need a couple more days. I'm tired. But uh, I think I'm going to take a couple more days. Why not? That job ain't going nowhere. It'll still be there. That's the thing about working on these jobs, guys. If you do a good job, you come to work every day on time, and you come to work every day, you got good attendance. Um, and you do your job to the best of your ability. It's okay to go a little bit above and beyond. Just a little bit. Don't let people take advantage of you. But do a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Do a little more than what somebody else would do. You understand what I'm saying? If you do more than what anybody else would do, just a little bit more than what anybody else would do. You don't have to go crazy and be a people pleaser or, you know, kiss up to the boss. Just enough to where if you don't show up, you'll be missed. Just enough so if you don't show up, you'll be missed. <clears throat> and uh, I didn't even hear that bike coming behind me because I'm running my damn mouth. Come on, Cole. He's gonna see some squirrels over here. Oh, there's one right there. He missed it. Because he had his nose to the ground. Squirrel. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go. Over here. Over there. Go. Go. It's okay. Come on. <laughs> I knew he had no chance of getting that squirrel. He's already at the tree. Here. 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 Good boy. He found some mole holes there. But, uh, oh, like I was saying, before I get distracted from people on the bikes and whatever, getting all close to me so they can hear what I'm saying. But, uh, I was just saying, if you, uh, be at work on time every day, come to work every day, have your good attendance, do a little extra on the job. Just a little extra, not much. Okay, Cole, we're going back. Let's go. Just a little extra. You know, just more than what anybody else would do. If you decide to take some days off or some time off of work, they're not going to like it. And they're going to make a big deal about it. But they're not going to fire you. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, the reason why they want you there is because you're doing more than anybody else is going to do. And you're uh, an asset and whether you're doing a good job, you know. And when you're not there, the other people, they have to take your slack because you're going to be missed. Because there's a lot of stuff that you did that nobody else is going to do. They're going to, they're going to make a big deal about it. You know, so you've got leverage, you know. Whereas uh, somebody they really don't care about, they hardly ain't working anyway. That's just doing the bare minimum. You know, they want to take time off. There's no, they, they never make a big deal about it. Let them take time off. They come in late every day. You know, they got to leave early because they got to pick up their kids or they got to go get the dog or they got to go do whatever manner of bullshit that they run across them. There's never a problem, you know, and you have to take up their slack. And you don't have no problem with either square. Like, okay, no problem. I got it. You know, I'll handle it, you know. So, but when you want to take some time off or you got to not come in, then there's a problem, you know. That's just how evil people are, you know. That's just the way it is. Anyway, I have some people on the path up here. They're having a little conversation. I'm gonna get back. I'll take this up in a second after I pass these people. Yeah, so they're passed now. But uh, like I was saying, these people on these jobs, you know, I've read all the books, the leadership books, the how to influence people and make friends and the Robert Kiyosaki um, books on uh, how to deal with people and how to motivate people and how to, you know, pretty much manipulate people. The uh, 
I don't know if it's eight laws of power or ten laws of power, something like that. That sociopathic ass handbook. I read that some bitch too. So I know how these bastards think. You know, they read those books and it teaches them how to manipulate people, how to scheme on people, how to recognize people pleasers and use the shit out of them, how to take advantage of people that are, you know, that are um, kind hearted, how to uh, manipulate and scheme and just do evil ass shit, you know, and these managers and these um, uh, bosses, supervisors and all that, they read these damn books and they know how to take advantage of people, how to manipulate people and they run that bullshit on you. And if you've read these books, you'll know when they're running the game, you know what I'm saying? So, and it pisses you off because you read these books and you're like, damn, this is some fucked up shit these people are doing to people to manipulate and scheme and uh, take advantage of people. And you recognize it as the stuff that they done read in these books when they use it on you. And it pisses you off. But, uh, and it pisses me off because I, I see that stuff, you know, on the job and how they run this stuff on you everything but it doesn't work on me and I, that gives me an advantage because I've read all these books so I know what they're doing and uh, I make myself out to be a people pleaser or a doormat people think that about me or, or a nice guy guys I am not a nice guy I just play one on TV I believe in treating people right, treating them the way I want to be treated. I don't try to take advantage of anybody, do anything, uh, you know, bad, whatever. I don't steal, rob, cheat people. I don't try to take advantage of people. If people do something for me, I compensate them accordingly, you know, maybe even give them a little something extra to show my appreciation. But uh, I'm not going to be taken advantage of. I'm not going to have people run over me. But I do have a, a kind of a quiet disposition. I don't talk too much. I don't uh, make many waves, whatever. And I don't complain a lot. I've got a good attitude about things. But uh, I'm by no means a weak person or a pushover. And uh, but people make that mistake of thinking so. Is she following me around? It's about the fourth time I've seen her. She should have been long gone. But anyway, maybe I'm just interested. She just wants to probably hear what I'm talking about on this uh, phone or whatever, you know. But um, anyway, we're back to the truck. I'm gonna get on, take Cole on back and we're gonna finish the rest of our day. I don't know, we might go downtown to Riverwalk today. Be a good day for it. But anyway, I got my truck nice and clean. However, I'm really proud of the job I did. I cleaned up the inside, I cleaned up the outside and the back and uh, organized things real good. So, looks good in here. I changed my bedding. I washed my old stuff that I had on there. Put some new stuff on. Hooked up Cole's little bed. Got my battery thing going and my uh, my new uh, uh, power brick or um, power cord uh, uh, I guess you call it a power cord. Uh, uh, my brain, my brain isn't working right now, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, we might go downtown. I don't know. We'll see. It's a work in progress. I had to put a screw in here because I got this differently, so this won't slide off. This fell off. But uh, every little bit, everything I do makes it better, and we'll see. I got some stuff coming today. From Amazon something else coming that uh, will make things a little easier and uh, I'll give you guys an update on it when it gets here anyway for now thanks for watching see you on the next one